Hello everyone, I'm Silent Runner 54 We're into chapter 8 now of the event and they've managed to secure a hyperdrive generator for the Queen's ship and they've made the trip to Coruscant and the Queen is going to speak to the Senate um, about helping with the Trade Federation blockade over Naboo. Now we need only find Senator Palpatine. Meanwhile, Qui Gon and Obi Wan take Anakin to the Jedi Temple to speak with the Jedi Masters. So this level focus is on. Um, again, a bit, a sequence that isn't in the film, but it's the Queen's um, trip to the Senate chamber, which isn't an easy one uh, in this level. So we're playing as Captain Panaka, who's the Queen's, the head of the Queen's security force. So the, the speed of the, they were going to take this to the Senate comes under attack from a, like a hover turret so quickly take that out, run to the other side and there's a lift and it will come under attack from thugs we must find a way to escape this platform. run up to the very end platform and there's a light repeating blaster to be picked up and then head to the platform, speak to the droid about going on the, 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 the tour And Panaka will ask if the tour stops at the Senate chamber. Just to get off the lift. Speak to this protocol droid, make sure you're not armed because the droids will... they won't help you. So I speak to the silver droid about taking the tour and it will point you in the direction. Follow it round. There's a health pack in there if you need it. To the far door, around again, and you'll see a blue protocol droid. Oh, wait, we forgot an Amidala. There she is again, like before. If you run on ahead, she'll just stop. And if you get too far ahead, it'll say that she's been killed and it'll end the mission. So speak to the blue pro protocol droid about getting on the tour. And the droid will tell you that you need tickets, which I don't have at the moment. So just do the top line of conversation for um, the next few lines of conversation, just the next tour lead? hit the top one and then when that conversation's finished I'll return with the Republic credits I don't need to buy the tickets from the droid so now we can get through that door, we go back this way and as we came down this way, you saw there was a big door here. So just go out of this way onto another landing platform. And there's two two characters on either side. Speak to this guy first and sell him electro binoculars. 
He'll then give you credit. He'll then give me credits. Well, in that case, I'm willing to offer 100 Republic credits for the pair. Is that sound reasonable? Yes. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. And then we go over to the other guy. And he'll say that he's got two tickets for the tour, but he can't use them because he's been called on a meeting. So he's looking to sell the tickets. Which is perfect for us because that's what we need. So, speak to him. And then... Just follow the lines of dialogue until... Yep, yeah, how much are you asking? He'll say a hundred for both. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Enjoy the tour. And that's the tickets. It's always better to go to just get rid of this turret. It's always better to go to the guy in blue first because if you go to that guy over there first, he'll tell you about selling the tickets and how much he wants for them. Then you go sell the electro binoculars and get the money and go back he actually pitches he hikes up the price he asks for 200 and you've got to bring him down then again and say you know no he said 100 not two so we head back into this chamber and again come under attack by thugs just make sure that the queen's protected No, this time we we'll go down this corridor and the door opens up so now we're in like a warehouse type location there's the transport that gets chased off by a hover turret so now we've got to get the queen across this platform and she'll point blank refuse to jump So I'll drop down and head over to the far, there's two boxes, there's that one there behind that blue barrier and there's this one. So I'll grab this one first and drag it over or push it over, whichever. Um, there's a little um, gap in the wall on this side where we can jump up. There, so just drag it all the way over, line it up. And then there'll be a switch on this control pad that you flick. The full health pack there if you need it. So that drops the blue barrier that was surrounding that crate. Flip the switch again, it raises the platform so the queen can get across. So we then drop down, back around, and the Queen's now been captured. And there's nothing that Panaka can do about it because he's down in this warehouse. So drag this crate over to the lift and drag it onto the lift Just push it all the way up into the corner and then we can jump up and chase after the thugs now the bridge is blown out so what we do is flick this If you flick that switch, it brings a platform along. But you need to be stood on a crate to actually reach the platform. So what we're going to do now is 
going to go all the way back around. And flip that switch again. And that now lifts the platform up with the crate on it. And now we need to drag this crate all the way over so that we can jump on the platform and then move the crate into position uh, up at the top. So although this part of the story is never actually officially confirmed, it's kind of nice to think that this is going on. You sat watching the film and Anakin's being assessed by the Jedi. It's nice to sort of think that, you know, this, this could be happening behind the scenes. It's not an easy ride for the Queen. She doesn't just jump in an air taxi and get to where she's going. There's a, a there's a kidnap attempt. Which is always common amongst royalty anyway, if you remember the opening of Attack of the Clones. There's an assassination attempt on Padme. as well. So move the crate into position. Once you get up to a certain point it won't let you move it any further forward. So then flip the switch, jump onto the platform and the that platform comes down and we nearly fell. So then it brings us to this next little warehouse complex where we'll be all we'll come under attack again by thugs so we'll just clear them out and there's one in the window there just get rid of him and another hover turret chase this one around a little bit because it's moving Quite a bit. Come on. There we go. Got rid of that. So then... should be a weapon. You push that crate off, there should be a weapon in there. But I don't think there is this time around. No, I don't think there is this time around. So what we do now is head over to this little platform. There's a little med, there's a, a small health pack in that window. So just tread very, very carefully along that edge into the second window and then there's a corridor that takes you to another ledge so then it's a case of just dropping down there into another corridor and then the, the, there should be a weapon inside that crate as well Move that out of the way. No, that's not the way. This is the way. Little health pack. Secret wall there that you can go into and grab a heavy blaster.
I'm going to push. It didn't help pushing it the wrong way. But now I'm going to push this crate all the way along. In fact, no, we don't need to push the crate. Um, so this is looking for a girl and two armed men. And he's just like, yes, yeah, they're not in my stock room. Get out. So yeah, I thought that there should, yeah, there should be a weapon inside this crate. But again, I don't think there is. I remember there being weapons in those crates. So it run down this corridor and into like a bar area. And if we go up the stairs, there's a set of lifts. And the one on the far end is open, so we go into that one. And that takes us down into the depths. More thugs. So get rid of the thugs and then we step into Oh, there's a lift. I knew there was one more. There's a lift here. So just step into oh, one more. Don't know where he came from. And then this lift takes us even further down. Into the sort of, not, it's not, not really a sewer system, but it's like, if you ever played Knights of the Old Republic, it's like, this, it's a bit like the sewer section in, on Taris. There's a lot of tunnels and doors that you need to navigate. So this is the... Eventually we need to get through that door and then there's a door that's passworded. Don't hurt me. Where did they take so we speak to the man in white and he'll tell us um, where they took Amidala and just ask him why the area is restricted eventually he'll tell you the password how did they prevent outlaws from leaving the restricted area and that suddenly says there's a passworded door what's the password it's something like Coruscant has a beautiful sunset So now we go through the big jar of steel doors. And this is where we get people begging us for money. So just, I just usually say I have no time for the likes of you. It's kind of rude for Panaka to say. It's kind of a rude thing for Panaka to say. But it's the best way to just get them to leave you alone so I hit the button and this it then drops a lift Got any so I then yes, I do. Well, where are my credits? we speak to somebody else and he's asking for money And there'll be a lot of that. You kind of 
you come into proximity, you come into a, within a certain proximity, and it triggers the conversation. So you just have to basically tell him you haven't got anything. And this guy, just he just attacks. He's, he's can be quite hard to defeat as well if you've not got the right gun. I prefer the gun that I'm using for Panaka. I, I love this gun because it's. It just seems like the the laser fire goes straight. It cuts straight through them. So that's again. You don't have anything, and then you get accused of being mean, and people say, "Oh well, you know, mean people don't last two minutes down here." So I hit the button. Hit both buttons, and then we we actually. Oh yeah, it is this way. Drop this lift as well. Probably have to do it twice because you get roped into a conversation. <clears throat> but there you go, you say you don't have any food and she draws a gun and says mean people don't last long down here. So for that door we need a red key. So that's the lady attacking us, and once we kill her, all the other all the other uh, beggars then start attacking. So I just just shoot them. I try not to make the first move. Uh, yeah, red key for this door. So I try not to ever make the first move and just shoot. But eventually, when you eventually you'll you'll tell somebody you don't have anything for them, and they get quite aggressive. Again, should be a weapon in there. Oh, no, that's a passkey. So that is a key. To get into not that door. No, it's not a key to get into that door. I'm trying to remember now where that red key comes from. What have I got? White key. Okay, so it's a white key, so I need to find. A console with a white screen. Plus, actually, I think that's the way out. So I need to find... It's not that way. I need to find the queen first. The more... More hobos to kill. There is where the white key goes. Step through the door. Take down the thug. There's the queen. So that, do we grab the red lift key? And it's now plain sailing. Just need to go find the red lift. Wrong room. Wrong way. Here we go. So wait for Amidala to step on the lift. That takes us down another floor. How are we going to get across? Until we come to this room which is just a case of flipping switches basically you need to get the bridge turned and move these things at the side out of the way so get the queen across
And then yeah, it's just a case of flipping some switches. moving things out of the way and once the doorway is free we then get the queen to follow flick another switch open another door and onto the lift up another floor try and shoot these little um, spider things on the floor because they do damage you when they run into you so I come to the door speak the password Coruscant has lovely sunsets the door will open And then last but not least, there's a boss. Just to keep the queen from doing her duty. One last time, just shoot him. And you'll shoot him with the light repeating blaster, he'll go down quicker. And then take down what we've already done the turrets, and then through this door, onto this lift. And that will take us up to the platform where Senator Palpatine's waiting. And then there'll be a bit of a conversation. And that will then trigger the end of the level. And eventually we arrive and on the platform and then just it's a straight run I say straight run across the game kind of then takes over Panaka and the Queen get onto the platform which carries them across to the Senate and there's Palpatine and his entourage waiting for him so then the conversation takes place and that then triggers the end of the level. Hello, Senator. Thank you for so I hope you liked the video. My pleasure, Your Highness. However, I fear that it don't forget to subscribe. I know I've said it quite a bit, but please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all for the next chapter, which will be... Uh, chapter 9, which is retake. No, it's not. No, chapter 9 will be the um, Battle of the Naboo Plains. So I'll see you for the next one.